Hello and good morning. I'm Claude Chaubet from Standard & Poor's Rating Services. And with me today is Lofty El Bardadi, Director in the Insurance uh, Rating Division at Standard & Poor's. And we're going to discuss the insurance sector in the Maghreb. So, good morning, Lofty. Could you share with us Standard & Poor's views on the insurance markets in the Maghreb, please? Yeah, well, first of all, to start, I think we could uh, say that we may rather uh, mention insurance sectors because there are three uh, fairly different insurance sectors in the region, which are the uh, Moroccan sector, the Algerian sector, and the Tunisian sectors. Uh, so there are some differences and some similarities that we could uh, go further uh, in detail uh, later on, uh, such as, for instance, the uh, similarities could be uh, uh, high growth potentials, while some of the differences could be the level of state intervention, also the, the, the level of deepness of the investment markets that also have an impact on the uh, practices, uh, investment practices, but also the growth practices of, of insurance companies in the region. So uh, you mentioned some um, differences and similarities. Could you elaborate a bit more on those uh, key differences and similarities, please? Yeah, we um, indeed we see some some differences. I mean, the differences generally uh, lie in a few areas, such, such as uh, investment market uh, deepnesses, level of state control, underwriting performance. Uh, some of uh, differences in the uh, uh, distribution power, for instance, and also uh, capital adequacy. As far as similarities as, as concerned, we see some general uh, important similarities. First, first one being uh, the high growth potential for, 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 for these countries. Uh, for instance, uh, uh, building on, on, on uh, the efforts done by the regulators in recent years in, all, in order to, to uh, to build healthy, uh, healthier environment, and also building on the uh, expected economic growth, but also on the fact that insurance penetration rates are, are still uh, comparatively very low to, to European standard. Uh, some business lines uh, being uh, untapped or in their infancy, which uh, which leads to this uh, 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 potentially uh, high growth in these countries. There is also um, uh, a common uh, increase in demand or need uh, as far as uh, enterprises management uh, uh, practices are concerned because uh, this uh, expected high growth could also be demanded from the standpoint of uh, uh, risk increasing risk management practices in order to uh, operate in in, uh, in uh, even more healthier environment. And we do rate some uh, insurers in, uh, in the region. Are they all at the rated at the same level? Could you uh, give us maybe two examples? Yes, we do rate uh, in, uh, insurers in the region. We have uh, an insurer in Tunisia, for instance, called CART, Company uh, d'Assurance uh, et de Réassurance uh, Tunisie Européenne, which is rated triple B minus. And uh, a, a reinsurer, national reinsurer uh, based in Morocco, uh, uh, called Société Centrale de Réaction, SCR, SCR uh, that is rated triple B plus stable. And I do believe uh, you recently lowered uh, the perspective on the Tunisian insurer from uh, stable to negative, uh, due maybe to the recent uh, events? Yes. Uh, first of all, earlier on I mentioned the growth potential in the, in the markets. Uh, indeed, uh, as far as Tunisia is concerned, uh, the current political transition, the recent event that happened in the country, uh, may uh, probably uh, put a temporary drag uh, on growth for at least 2011. Uh, also raises some concern on the behavior of uh, in the investment market because uh, volatility increased recently as a result of these events. Uh, CART uh, being uh, uh, an insurance operating uh, fully in Tunisia had, uh, could be impacted by this event, so that's why we revised the outlook to negative from stable while we affirm the rating at triple B minus. Oh, very good. And now let us focus on um, investment market practices and um, capital adequacy. I think it's a uh, two important point in your analysis. Can yeah. you uh, elaborate a bit more? Yeah, on, on investment practices, uh, uh, I mentioned earlier the, the level of, of, of deepness and maturity of investment markets. We, uh, uh, as you know, insurers are, are institutional investors. Uh, so the deepness of the local markets influence to a large extent the investment practices. For instance, in Morocco, while the, the equity markets have, have been witnessing uh, substantial growth over the past years, 
insurers uh, uh, invested uh, heavily in these uh, equity markets. Uh, and, and we believe that based on, on the published figures, uh, uh, equity investment represent 68% uh, of, uh, of investment for Moroccan insurers. Mm. Uh, while in the other countries, for instance, Algeria, as uh, equity markets is, is, is nascent, is, is, uh, is in an early stage of development, so insurers are much more focused on uh, uh, government uh, bonds mm -hmm. and also deposits with local banks. So uh, very uh, little uh, investment, relatively speaking, uh, in, in the equity markets. While in, in, in Tunisia, it's uh, a, a, an intermediate stage between Algeria and Morocco where uh, equity markets uh, are developed. Insurers have uh, approximately 20% of their investment in equities. So this, are, this is a major difference because uh, uh, it makes insurance benefit, for instance, from equity markets when, when the trend is, 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 uh, is good, when the trend is positive, but it, it also exposes the balance sheet to volatility mm -hmm. uh, when, the, when, when there is a, a, a downturn or, or increase in volatility. For instance, and that, that links to the capital adequacy that, we, that, that you were mentioning uh, earlier, uh, uh, benefiting from increasing markets and uh, uh, improving bottom line thanks to equity investment have also uh, another characteristic because equities uh, are in the risk adjusted framework much more capital consuming than other sort of uh, investments. So that's why we believe that companies that are heavily invested in equities could experience some pressure. That leads us to the opinion that we, we are mentioning in the article regarding the level of capital adequacies uh, over the three countries. What we did is, is we, uh, we uh, included the aggregate market data into our capital model. And based on this aggregate market data, we believe that uh, companies, for instance, Algeria, could have comfortable coverage if uh, regulators and the market move to a risk-adjusted framework uh, uh, because of uh, uh, historical retained earning, but also low in lower investment investment risk based on, uh, on low in uh, investment on equities. And in Tunisia, we believe there could be an adequate uh, coverage, although the recent events, once again, may increase volatility and, and also uh, increase pressure on the balance sheet of insurers. While in Morocco, we believe that this uh, uh, high exposure to the equity market that we were mentioning before could be a source of pressure on the balance sheet of insurers if uh, this risk-adjusted framework is, is adopted by the markets. Well, thank you very much, Lofty, for this interesting presentation on uh, the insurance sector in the Maghreb. This concludes this um, episode of uh, Crave Matters TV. Thank you and bye-bye.